last time in my 30s. All right, Instagram's live, Facebook's live. We're good to go. Like I said, this is my last time in my 30s. I've got uh, people already wishing me a happy birthday. Di Manuel, uh, 12 hours ahead. Using that to his advantage to push me into my 40s. I went for a run earlier today on the treadmill as much as I would have liked to have run outside. The treadmill asked my age, and it was a chance to uh, to take it down to 39 one last time. So I was like, I got to do that. Still have a run in my 30s. Um, I'm not going live to talk about that. I'm going live to talk about what my 40th birthday is about, and that's about one vegan day. There are 29 people officially signed up, but I've seen some of them posting tonight as they get ready and posting like groceries they've gotten and um, all these other people joining in who are saying they're doing it too. So I know there's more than 29, but not everybody has signed up officially. So if you're in on it, go to brianfaltruck.com slash one vegan day. You can write O-N-E, you can use the number one, I made them both work. So just go and sign up so we get as many people officially in there as possible. Check it out, join in, and tomorrow's going to be easy. It's just one day. Like, anyone can do a day. And that's where do a day got its name from. I know I keep saying that. So, look, here's the deal. I see Insurance Nerds is on there. If that's Tony, I know your whole thing is that you don't eat vegetables, but maybe just for a day you could try it and just eat vegetables. It's not that hard. So here's what you're going to do. You get up in the morning, and if you're a breakfast person, you have breakfast. And shockingly, it's not that hard to not have dairy and meat and honey and eggs for breakfast. I know that may sound hard to some people. It's not the picture of typical breakfast that we were always shown growing up, where it was like a bowl of cereal, a piece of toast, a glass of orange juice, and a glass of milk. I'm like, who has that for breakfast anyway? Um, but that's what we would always see, or you'd see a bagel with... Philly cream cheese getting spread on it, or a plate of eggs, or eggs and pancakes. It's like, oh, none of that stuff's vegan. Well, sure, but there's a gazillion other things you can eat. And I've been sending emails to the 29 people who are signed up for One Vegan Day. And I've been sharing ideas on the One Vegan Day page for lots of different things you can do. For me, um, my go-to for a long time was something I uh, creatively named Quinoa Lentil Veggies. It's not, a, it's not a very catchy name, but it's it says what it is, right? It was quinoa, lentils, and whatever random vegetables we had around the house or left over from making stuff for dinner. I just chuck them in a pot, boil them up, stick them in a Pyrex, and I would take a few scoops of that and warm them up in the morning. And that was breakfast, and it was hearty, and it tasted really good. Loaded with vitamins, loaded with protein, loaded with carbs, loaded with everything that I needed. And all the good stuff, not like empty carbs or starch or whatever. It was like fiber and carbs that would fill you and satiate you. Add the protein in, add the vitamins in. You're in a good place to start your day. So I would have that. Um, that's what I had when I was marathon training. Like, you know, I'd have a bowl of that and uh, I used to have a line of protein bars that I put out, New Bodies bars, so I would have probably two of those, and then I'd go for a run. Um, yeah, it was easy. It's like super easy, super tasty, and really good for you, and sometimes I would just have fruit, so I'd either get some sliced up fruit if I didn't have time to prep it myself, like if uh, when I go for the runs, I typically go really early in the morning, especially in my long runs. I'd try to get out before 5 a.m. if I could, um, or maybe right around 5 and, um, you know, I don't want to be like chopping up fruit all morning if that's what's going on, trying to get out the door. So you can buy pre-cut fruit or you can just get a piece of fruit, like get an orange, banana, have both. Who cares? It's fruit. It's good for you. It's high in fiber. It's high in vitamins and nutrients. It's tasty, um, sweet. And for people who don't want the sugar, look, if you're eating fruit and you're vegan, it's not a big deal to have the fruit. I used to avoid it. I used to be on a slow carb diet and it was like fruit was totally out. It's like, it's fruit. It's really good for you. There's no problem with it. Um, yeah. So just have a bunch of fruit for breakfast. Actually, it's great for you. It's really easy to digest. It's a great way to start your day. So quinoa, lentil, veggies, fruit, you can have toast or bagel, believe it or not, you can have those things. Just a question of what you put on it. And there's a bunch of different vegan options, or you can just have it plain 
or you could put peanut butter on it or some other nut butter, almond butter, cashew butter, sunflower seed butter, um, any of them, just not butter. Um, but if you want butter, if you really love that, there's a really, really good vegan butter from a company called Miyoko's. Uh, it's really good stuff. It's coconut based and it is amazing. It actually tastes a lot like butter. I think it tastes better than butter. Um, I know people who prefer it to butter, people who aren't vegan, but you could put Miyoko's vegan butter on that. Um, there's a brand called Kite Hill that makes really good vegan cream cheese. I've tried a few different vegan cream cheeses and no doubt Kite Hill is the best. I actually can't really taste the difference. Um, they've got a jalapeno one that I love that. Um, my son likes the chive one. It's good. I personally like the jalapeno one. It's really good. And they have plain as well. Um, they might have one other flavor too, but, um, the jalapeno is fun. Uh, and you can have cereal if that's your jam. You can still have cereal. Just don't get a honey cereal if you really want to do vegan. Honey's not vegan. Um, you can throw some almond milk on it, coconut milk, cashew milk, hemp milk, soy milk, rice milk, no milk. You just have it plain. Um, yeah, it's, it's not that hard. Like breakfast, easy. You can do it. And coffee is vegan. Just don't put milk or cream in it. Or if you're into the whole um, bulletproof coffee thing, you can't have your grass-fed butter in your coffee that morning, but you could put coconut oil in it. If you want to get the MCT, you can put coconut oil in it uh, and some almond milk. Easy peasy. Um, lunch, I always thought was the easiest meal because a lot of people have salads at lunch and a lot of restaurants have salads and a lot of to-go places have salads. So that's like, that's an easy thing to get. Um, the CEO of Be Good, Chris Fuqua, is in on this. And Be Good is a place for those, especially in the Northeast, but I think they go as far down as like uh, Maryland. Um, they're not just in New England, but uh, Be Good is one of, that's one of the places I would turn to for lunch when I was working in downtown Boston. I'd probably hit it two, three times a week. Um, got lots of great salads and bowls and they've got a veggie burger and they've got smoothies and lots of options. Um, <clears throat> you can, you can do any of that stuff, go to a grocery store and get veggie burgers in the frozen aisle. That's pretty easy. Um, or just get a salad, simple stuff. Um, I sent around a recipe for one particular salad that again, when I was marathon training, this was one of my go-tos. It's really easy to make. It's super tasty. And surprisingly it was like uncomfortably filling. Um, I would find myself just like super full when I was eating it. Um, so you take kale. I got this from, uh, I can't remember the name of the movie, but Rip Esselstyn of the Engine 2 Diet. He has some movie, it's not on, uh, on Netflix. I can't remember the name of, uh, of which streaming service I saw it on. Um, he goes into people's house and he like, you know, helps them clean up their pantry and, and stuff. And he shows a bunch of things. He shows a vegan lasagna recipe, but then he also shows uh, this kale salad. And you can use curly curly kale if you want. Um, thank you. You look good too. You keep up, keep up the good work too, my friend. Um, so you can use the curly kale. Uh, I actually find it's a little bit easier to eat with the flat kale, which is also sometimes called dinosaur kale or lacinato kale. Um, it's a darker green and it's flat. It's not all ripply leaves. Um, you just, you hold the stem and you run your finger up the stem and it'll pull the leaves right off because you don't want to eat the stems. They're pretty tough to chew. I actually keep them and you can either juice them or chop them up really small and put them in your quinoa lentil veggies for breakfast. Um, so uh, you just, you pull the stems off, obviously like wash them and dry them. Um, and then you take an avocado and you smash the avocado up and you get your hands, make sure they're washed, throw everything in a bowl and squish it all together. And uh, get a lemon or a lime. I prefer it with lime. Some people like lemon better. You can use both. Squeeze some over there. Mush it all around. If you want, you can throw in some other veggies. Like I would chop up carrots or um, radishes sometimes. Uh, just for a little bit of that snap, you can put like um, different, uh, what do you call like bean sprouts or other kinds of sprouts. Um, really, whatever you want. You throw in some seeds. So like some sunflower seeds go great with that. A little bit of protein, a little bit of um, yeah, a little bit crunch to it. Um, and just mush it all around. It's super tasty. And like I said, like you wouldn't think that would be filling, but honestly, there's times where I was like, I couldn't finish it. Um, which is kind of funny, but it's good. It's really good. And, uh, it's a pretty easy thing to make. And look, you're eating natural whole foods, 
that happens to be raw. Um, loaded with vegetables, really good for your digestive tract. We don't need to get into all that right now, but like it's all good stuff. It's all part of the benefits of a vegan diet. Um, and dinner, like my family gets it easy for those who are actually participating because um, I'm buying everyone dinner tomorrow night at a vegan restaurant. So they've got that one easy. There are vegan restaurants and there are lots of restaurants who can easily accommodate you if you're vegan. Because here's the thing, all it takes is vegetables. And pretty much every restaurant has vegetables. And pretty much every chef knows how to cook vegetables. It's not hard. So you can just say, hey, look, I'm vegan. Um, do you think you guys could figure something out? Is there, can I just get a side of vegetables or a big plate of vegetables? It's pretty easy to do. They can all do it. Just make sure that they're not like cooked in butter. That's the one trick is sometimes they'll be sauteed in butter. So just, you know, mention that. Um, Cause sometimes weight staff doesn't always understand like vegan means no dairy too. Um, <clears throat> but it's so easy. And usually if you can't find a main course, you can find something on the sides. You can just ask them, Hey, can you leave the cheese off or whatever? It's really not hard. I've been almost four years. I've been doing this and I traveled a lot in my career and I always thought I'd have trouble and I never had trouble. Um, Mexican is always a pretty easy go-to. Just watch out for refried beans that are cooked in pork fat. Um, fajitas are a really easy solution because it's like, you know, vegetables inside a tortilla, you just put them together. Um, so that's typically an easy one. Burritos often are, but sometimes ingredients are pre-mixed and they've already got, you know, they've got like the pork in them or whatever. Um, so sometimes that doesn't work out. Um, a friend of mine mentioned that she was someplace where as she went to a Mexican place and she was like, I was like, oh, here we go. I'm going to have the fajitas again because that's all I can have. Um, they had a taco, soft shell taco that they made with quinoa. I think it was soft shell. Maybe it wasn't. But quinoa, sweet potato, and black beans. That's pretty cool. Um, it's not often that you'd see that. Now, there is a, um, a burrito from Annie's. Uh, sorry, Amy's, not Annie's, Amy's, um, make uh, organic frozen pre-cooked meals um, that has those ingredients, which is pretty cool. And I, I didn't realize that when she was telling me, I was like, that sounds familiar. Um, it's a burrito, not a taco, but kind of funny, um, but it's good. So there's like, there's lots and lots of stuff that you can do. It's not all that hard and it's only a day. So if you've been thinking about it or you've been thinking about how you shouldn't think about it or can't think about it or can't do it, just do it. It's one day, super simple, get on board. And here's the deal. If you do it, just take pictures of what you eat and post them on Twitter, post them on Instagram and hashtag do a day and tag me at Brian Falchuk on either of them, on both of them, whatever you want. Cause I just want to see what people are up to and I want to support you and I want to see the activity of it. And here's the deal with stuff like this. The more we do it, the easier it gets. And the more other people see us doing it, the more they might be curious and be willing to give it a try too. And what happens then is their health improves, their impact on the uh, ecology improves, lessens. And surprisingly, as much as people are like, oh, it's so expensive, it's not. It's a lot cheaper. Um, I love when people are like, oh, I don't know, vegetables, it costs a lot of money, or like organic vegetables. Okay, well, it's your choice if you want to eat organic or not. And yes, organic does cost more. But last time I checked, meat is not cheap. And if you do a comparison, Meat tends to cost more than vegetables. It's pretty plain and simple. Or like, oh, it's so much work to prepare vegan food. Well, guess what? Like, you might just be used to cooking meat, but it still takes work to prepare it, and it takes time. It's not instantaneous. So you're comparing one thing that you're unfamiliar with that you see effort in to something you're not putting any, um, like any weight in the actual effort that you're putting into it or the cost. It's like you are actually paying for that food and you are spending time to prepare it. It's not zero. So just understand it's not the cost or the time of the vegan stuff to zero. That's not, it's not reality. So just give it a try and you will see pretty quickly. You're spending less, you're feeling better. It's nowhere near as hard as you thought it would be with do a day. You don't need to worry about you're never going to eat something for the rest of your life or, what if this situation happens six years from now? It doesn't matter. None of that's happening. Just put it out of your mind, chill, do a day. Do one vegan day. Tomorrow, October 19th. I appreciate for some of you it already is October 19th. Um, you can tell me if I won the lottery. I've never played the lottery in my life. 
I've done scratch tickets, but I've never actually bought a full on lottery ticket. But I figured, look, it's over $900 million for Mega Millions. And uh, it'd be pretty cool if I won on my birthday. So I took a plunge. I bought $10 worth of tickets and we'll see what happens. Um, when I when I win the $900 million, I'll, I'll share it with anyone who actually does one vegan day. So how's that? I'll, I'll give you each a, a few bucks. I'll buy you a vegan meal. Um, and I'm going to win. So you basically like you get a free meal. It's not too shabby. Anyway, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go enjoy my last few minutes of being in my 30s, and uh, I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm excited for all the people who are going to be trying it out. I'm excited to see what people are doing, what they're eating, how they're making it work. Um, one of the members has already been posting like, all the groceries she's getting, and, and she's just like going full bore, and I love that. I love the um, the attitude she's taking for it, so it's, it's very cool to see people embracing it. Um, thank you, everybody. Have a good night. When you see me next, I'll be 40, and hopefully I'll look exactly the same as I do right now. That would be pretty sad if, like, 12 hours later I look different. Um, but it, maybe I'll be worth $900 million. Not too shabby. Have a great night, and remember, tomorrow, one vegan day, it's a new day. Go out and do it. Thank you. All right.